Hi everyone, welcome to Predictive Analytics with TensorFlow by Mohamed Razul Karim, a video course by Pack Publishing. I'm Doug Stevens and I'll be the voiceover artist for this course. Mr. Razul Karim is a research scientist at Fraunhofer FIT Germany. He is also a PhD candidate at RWTH Aachen University, Aachen, Germany. He holds a BSc and an MSc degree in computer science. Before joining Fraunhofer FIT, he worked as a researcher at Insight Center for Data Analytics Ireland. Before this, he worked as a lead engineer at Samsung Electronics Distributed R&D Institutes in Korea, India, Turkey, and Bangladesh. Previously, he has worked as a research assistant at the database lab, Kyung Hee University, Korea. He also worked as an R&D engineer with BMT Tech 21 Worldwide Korea. Even before this, he worked as a software engineer with i2Soft Technology, Dhaka, Bangladesh. He has more than eight years of experience in the area of research and development with solid understanding of algorithms and data structures in C, C++, Java, Scala, R, and Python. He has published several books, articles, and research papers concerning big data and virtualization technologies such as Spark, Kafka, DCOS, Docker, Mesos, Sebelin, Hadoop, and MapReduce. He is also equally competent with deep learning technologies such as TensorFlow. Let's take a look at what we've got in store. Section 1, Basic Python and Linear Algebra for Predictive Analytics, discovers the basic concepts in linear algebra for predictive analytics such as vectors, matrices, tensors, linear dependence and span. Section 2, Statistics, Probability, and Information Theory for Predictive Modeling covers some statistic, probabilistic, and information theory concepts before getting started on predictive analytics, random sampling, hypothesis testing, chi-square test, correlation, expectation, variance, covariance, and Bayes' rule, and so on. It then discusses the central objects of probability theory, random variables, stochastic processes, and events. Section 3, From Data to Decisions, Getting Started with TensorFlow, provides a detailed description of the main TensorFlow features in a real-life problem, followed by detailed discussions about TensorFlow installation and configuration. It then covers computation graphs, data, and programming models before getting started with TensorFlow. The last part of the video contains an example of implementing linear regression model for predictive analytics. Section 4, Putting Data in Place, Supervised Learning for Predictive Analytics, covers some TensorFlow-based supervised learning techniques from a theoretical and practical perspective. In particular, the linear regression model for regression analysis will be covered on a real data set. It then shows how we could solve the titanic survival problem using logistic regression, random forests, and SVMs for predictive analytics. Section 5, Clustering Your Data, Unsupervised Learning for Predictive Analytics, digs deeper into predictive analytics and finds out how we can take advantage of it to cluster records belonging to the certain group or class for a data set of unsupervised observations. It will then provide some practical examples of unsupervised learning. Particularly, clustering techniques using TensorFlow will be discussed with some hands-on examples. Section 6, Predictive Analytics Pipelines for NLP, shows how to use TensorFlow for text analytics with a focus on text classification from an unstructured spam prediction and movie review dataset. Based on the spam filtering dataset, it shows how to develop predictive models using a linear regression algorithm with TensorFlow. Particularly, it will use the bag of words and TF-IDF algorithms for spam prediction. Later on, it will also show how to develop large-scale predictive models for predicting sentiment from the movie review dataset using the continuous bag of words and continuous skipgram algorithms. Section 7 using deep neural networks for predictive analytics, demonstrates how to train DNNs and analyze the performance metrics that are needed to evaluate a DNN predictive model. It also shows how to tune the hyperparameters for DNNs for better and optimized performance. It will provide two examples on how to build very robust and accurate predictive models for predictive analytics, as well, in particular, using deep belief networks and multi-layer perceptron on a bank marketing dataset. 
Section 8, using convolutional neural networks for predictive analytics, discusses how to develop predictive analytics applications such as emotion recognition, image classification, and text classification using the convolutional neural network algorithm on real image text datasets. Finally, it will provide some pointers on how to tune and debug CNN-based networks for optimized performance. Section 9, using recurrent neural networks for predictive analytics, provides some theoretical background for RNNs. Then, it shows a few examples of implementing predictive models for image classification, sentiment analysis of movies, and products spam prediction for NLP. Finally, it shows how to develop predictive models for time series data. Section 10, Recommendation System for Predictive Analytics, provides several examples of how to develop recommendation systems for predictive analytics, followed by some theoretical background of recommendation systems. For example, matrix factorization. Later, we will see an example of developing movie recommendation engine using SVD and K-means will be shown. Finally, the section shows how we could use factorization machines to develop a more accurate and robust recommendation system. Section 11, using reinforcement learning for predictive analytics, talks about designing machine learning systems driven by criticism and rewards. It will show several examples of how to apply reinforcement learning algorithms for developing predictive models on real-life datasets. These would be the prerequisites of the course. Take a good look. This course takes you through a number of practical solutions covering a wide range of topics you need to know about predictive analytics with TensorFlow. So, what are we waiting for? Let's begin this journey.